This is really personal. This whole exercise of green criminology and, and looking at environmental harm is a personal exercise, and it's a personal exercise for every single person who's involved. The reason why is that this is our planet. This is a planet that I live on and with, that my children live on and with, that my grandchildren live on and with, that my dog Matilda shares with me, that my garden out back is part of, and the mountain and the rivers is part of. And it seems to me that we must protect and cherish the things that we love. That includes the non-human as well as the human. The importance of what green criminology is doing is that we're both acting as public advocates on behalf of nature, on behalf of the environment, and trying to stop and prevent and protect the earth from environmental harm. But also we're trying to train a whole new generation of people to think differently about the planet. We must talk about eco-justice. We must talk about an ecocentric perspective on our relationship with nature. If we know climate change is happening, if we know that it's human caused, then the question is, why is it still happening? Because we have foreknowledge of consequence. That's where criminology comes in, and we come up with the concepts such as ecocide, that we're destroying the planet. We have concepts such as um, carbon criminals, which, in other words, we can actually pinpoint the specific industries, the specific individuals, in fact, who are destroying the planet in a sustained, systematic way. So green criminology looks at the questions of environmental harm. We look at it not only in terms of climate change, of course. We also look at plastics and oceans. We look at water theft, increasingly water theft associated with drought. Increasingly drought is associated with climate disruption and climate change and so on. So we, we start making the connections between what's happening to the natural environment and what we, as a society, can do to intervene, to mitigate and adapt to those changes. Green criminology has exploded in the last 15 years. It's exploded in academia. If you go to Europe, in the European Society of Criminology Conferences, there's five, six, seven workshops on green criminology. You go to the United States and the American Society of Criminology Conferences, there's five, six, seven, eight workshops on green criminology. We have featured in, in presidential plenaries at the American meetings. We have, we've been invited next year to speak at the British Society of Criminology meetings uh, as a plenary speaker about green criminology. So it's exploded. So how do we balance justice that deals with humans, that deals with ecosystems, that deals with animals, that deals with plants? And so we want to figure out a way to combine environmental justice, ecological justice, and species justice in the best way possible. And I think that's part of the, the ethical universe within which green criminology takes place.